Okay, here it is. The unit has arrived. Alright, for the DC air conditioner with the Peltier um, theory you've got, all the Peltier modules are in between this unit. Um, the unit itself is basically just, no, it's 15 and a half inches um, on the hot side, and on the cold side, it's just, well, it's 12 and 3 quarter or 11 and 3 quarters inches. So, uh, I've got large, um, large heat sinks. Um, just plugged it in. It's on 24 volt. These are 60 amp hour batteries in series. So I've got 24 volts. It's a 24 volt unit. So we've started out, we've started this out, it was like 31, yeah, it's uh, 32 degrees inside the boat right now. So, I see that, 32 degrees. Um, right now, uh, because it just started up, the heat sink isn't, or isn't cooling that much, but I've, it's already down to 23 degrees. This is all C, uh, Celsius. So it's down to 23 on the cold side, and it still keeps going down. The hot side is um, putting out 34, 35, 36 temperature still increasing here. Let's leave it sit for a minute. So that's a hot hot side. So basically, if you can see um, on the boat, this this side is going to be on the outside of the boat. This side is going to be on the inside of the boat. And then again, it'll be scooped out. So the the room air is going to go in here and go across the Peltier modules. So the cool side, I have to make a drip pan for condensation. But this will be on the outside of the boat, so it should be able, I'm going to make a frame for it. So it should mount really good, like on the back transom for an aft cabin, uh, things like that. Um, be able to put a cover on it, so it would just be an overhead unit, on like an escape hatch, if you, would, if you will. So, yeah, so it's staying at about 38 degrees right now on the hot side. And I'll put it over onto the cold side. And the aluminium is starting to cool down as well. So, I'm not sure how accurate this is, but again, this is a first test. Okay, so we're down to 24 degrees, 23 degrees. And we'll let it run for about an hour. Yeah, but this is going to um, maximum watt consumption is 350 watts. So that's 350 watts at uh, 24 volt, um, 24 volt DC. So if we do do the math on that, so if what it, um, BTUs is a thermal measurement, and we're using watts. So um, using watts and electrical measurement of watts and the BTUs I believe is 1 watt equals 3.41 3.41 BTUs so if I can get 350 watts out of this um, times 3.41 British thermal units, that means in theory, mathematically, it should be 1,139 British thermal units that I can get out of this. So again, it's already dropped down to 22 degrees. So again, it, it's warm in here. So, alright. So now it's the wood that's right in front of it here. So we got, was starting out at just over 30 degrees C. So this is blowing out 22 degrees, again, because that's coming in here, so it's our warmer air is going in, and you can see the little shine on my arm from sweat. So in a perfect world, if my math is right, it should be 1,193.5 British thermal units, cooling units. So we've got the control where I can reverse the polarity to it so I've got an actual thermostat where the thermostat you will go between 
here's the here's the unit I've got so if I make a case for this if I make a case for this I've got this is my temperature sensor so these relays should automatically go by what we've set on the on the circuit board here so once we get to a set temperature it'll either be your cooling or you're actually blowing heat because we're going to reverse the polarity so currently right now the hot is on this side the cool is on this side so if we change that where the cool would go out that side then the hot would come on on this side so then on the boat perfect life is good all right, so we just dropped one degree, but it is pretty hot in here. So I wonder if this thing does makes any difference. Well, that says 23.24. I can't hold steady. All right, so it's 24.5 is the thermal sensor, and I don't because it's only been running a short time. So, but there's good possibilities here. I'm kind of excited about it. It's pretty cool. It's, it's big. I mean, it's a mammoth behemoth. And it's, oh, it's, yeah, the air's starting to, starting to really warm up. So the Pelcher units are heating up now. And it is nice and cool. I like it. You know, because, hell, if, if I could just have this run all evening at and you keep the cabin of a boat down to 22 degrees all evening with no humidity life is good all right but that's what i've got for the the new peltier peltier theory dc air conditioner it's a big kahuna all right guys be safe be good be well bye bye